All right, here's the oncoming Bantamweight force out of the great nation of Georgia, repping Team Sarah Longo there on the northeastern side of the U.S. May Rob Dwalish Willie has been on the championship course for a long time. He's got a big fight in front of him tonight. All he does is win, John, and he wins in a certain way. He pressures you and he breaks you down. I have seen so many great f Bantamweights fight with Rob Dwalish Willie, and you can see they start to lose, not only physically, but in the spirit. He attacks you at a level that's higher than just your body. He's a great wrestler. He will put a pressure and pace on you that not many people can stay with. And I'm not sure that any athlete has ever muted Jose Aldo's offense as much as Dwalish Willie did back in 2022. May Rob back under the bright lights tonight. The Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you gotta stand out and take note when you fight someone like that. So close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino, Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. And now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Rob the Machine, Wallace Raleigh. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U.S. Champion of the world, Sugar Sean The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Great. Good. All right, it's usually all offense all the time out of Marab Dwalis, really the George in the team, Sarah Longo staple. As this round gets underway, you got to think he's going to go to the takedown early and often. And he doesn't get discouraged when the opposition gets back up. He chains his takedowns together as good as anyone in this Bantamweight division. And he believes that will be the path of least resistance here tonight. <laughs> Push. Investing in the body with the kick there. All right, so there it is, just as he said in our final meeting, he's going to pursue the clinch at all costs. He doesn't care about the crowd booing. This is how you defeat a kickboxer, and the wrestler's going to try to tie him up. Well, yeah, give him a little space. Give him a little distance to operate with. Smother him. That's exactly what this wrestler's trying to do. Right hand is there over the top. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. South position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. There it is. Now he's on the bottom. 
Oh, he got to the spot. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Dwellis Wood. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Just over three minutes now to go. And very effective with the ground and pound. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Wallace Willie's right back to the full mount here. Big ground and pound. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets involved, oh, he got out. How is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by O'Malley. Getting the ball here. He's got to find a way back to his feet. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, half-guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half -guard. Oh, man. I like half-guard as a top fighter. I understand half-guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. O'Malley's in half court. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Oh, it's tight. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is gonna be stopped. Come that horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mitts. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it for going into fight. In the half guard. Lands the ground and pound strike. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground 
Wallace will is back in half full. Now he's going full mount. Wallace will he's going for a choke here. Now it's tight. There it is. Submission now. Knee on belly. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Another ground and pound strike gets home. <laughs> Making all these shots count. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Wallace Wood. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. here just beautiful movement seamless transitions on them over and over these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country oh he's got the ground and pound going now all right so look at that a cut has been opened around that eye area he's taking shots over and over again to that area and now he's dealing with a cut north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. <laughs> Dwallis Willie's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, big shots from the top. He's very accurate in the ground upon and is showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, side control now. Pinned his arm, he's got him in a crucifix. O'Malley's eye is starting to spell shut. Stop. All right, round three coming up next. Hey, stop. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind 
on his opponent Ready. from the top position. Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. Job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Wallace Willie gets plastered by that uppercut. Sidekick is true. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. What a beautiful high kick that man. Now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, he can't land it. Big right hand. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Need lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, the judo chops on full display. Beautiful hip toss to take him down. Ronda Rousey did this for a long time, loaded people up with those high amplitude throws. This young man is very well versed in this position, and he has a lot of tricks to get you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. O'Malley's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Wallace Willis right back to the full mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground-and-pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch are starting to land from the top position. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. This work, guys. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent, and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. John, you know I love popcorn. <laughs> All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really starts to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds. In the crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers. All right, pausing the action here, and if you're the referee, you had to do it, right? The cut on the cheek, not in a terrible place, but a whole lot of blood coming down. And every time he gets hit, there's just blood flying out of that cut. It's a massive cut on the cheek, and the swelling that is starting to form on this guy's face is like nothing I've seen for a while. Yeah, that'll do it. I don't need to see the teeth through the side <laughs> of his face. That's going to be the end of the fight, and uh, athlete will live to fight again, but certainly a disappointing conclusion to this one. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, the Rob, the Machine, Wally Schroeder.
All right, so there it is. Don't look now, folks. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion of the world, and this is going to be a night that he doesn't ever forget. He will never forget.